what's going on y'all back with another video bbl update um today is may 11th it's currently 4 30 ish somewhere around the area and i am back home i'm back home in the loo and i'm so happy to be back home got a cover up honey i want all my tie ties out and they restrict this video and whatnot because it's information yeah, I got me some food right here, and I'm not going to eat in front of y'all because it's rude. But I just want to show y'all what we got here in St. Louis, honey. If you ever come to the Lou, honey, we got something called um, St. Paul sandwiches. Mm-hmm. A St. Paul sandwiches, fried egg. Ooh. La mayo. La pickle. Mm. They come and bring spouse of onions if you want it. I don't like all that, honey. And I also got me... um. What we call a combination plate. Not St. Louis Chinaman. We call it Chinaman, not Chinese food. We're not racist. We just call it Chinaman. It's for us, St. Louis. You won't find no place else. So we special like that. So I want y'all to see what I'm finna open up. This is a hot braised chicken combination plate. Oh, don't they look good? Mmm. 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 I'm gonna close it right up. Right Getting all my good, good fumes out. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna say this later on after the video. Okay, now, now, I can't wait to eat that. Okay, y'all, so I'm home. Okay, so, um, like I said, today is Tuesday. I got home yesterday evening. Well, night. I got home yesterday night. It was around um, 11:30, and I walked to my house. Now, I'm gonna give y'all an update of what happened and how it happened and whatnot. So. Yesterday, uh, you know, Sunday, Monday was my last day in Miami, and it was a good day. It was a very good day. I got my first massage at Ivana, um, because they canceled my other one, so I got my first one at Ivana, actually, through my package. Um, I got there, I got one to, it was supposed to be at 12, I got there at 12, if y'all know, like I said before, Ivana, you gotta be very patient, honey. They got a lot of people coming in and out. Got there at 12. I think I didn't get my massage until mm, 1.30, maybe 2, something like that. I mean, 1.30 or 2 o'clock, I got my massage. And the lady named my massage, I didn't catch her name, but she was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spirit woman. Um, she, uh, we had a nice little chat and everything. Um, she was just very kind and very kind. And her massages beautiful she was told me that i was healing very well um people and the, they were in there screaming i heard people just yelling I'm like, oh shit jesus oh, lord of mercy she was like you don't have no pain i was like no i'm like i'm just um uncomfortable i'm like i don't really have a lot of pain but she did my massage um she had laid me on the table did my back first that felt so amazing oh that felt so good and i rolled i was gonna roll over so she did my front she was like no no she's like no no mommy BBL. I'm like, oh, shit, I forgot. I don't, not no pain, so I be forgetting I had a BBL. <laughs> I don't be in no pain. I forgot I had a BBL, so she stood me up and did my front side really good. Um, she did really, really well. Like, um, she was amazing. Um, the massage felt wonderful. I know some people that they were hurt. I could feel the spots where I think people might think it would hurt, so I would advise you to take your, um, narcotic or your Advil or Tylenol, whatever you need to take before, prior to going there. Probably take it maybe 30 minutes prior. Well, know what? You might want to come first and then wait about an hour because you're going to be waiting for a little minute. I ain't going to lie to you. You ain't going to just get there and get in. So you might want to wait till you get there then wait and take your pill. But I would hate for you to take your pill and you waste it. And you're just looking all mad because you're feeling in pain because you feel everything now because the pill just gone. You know, so I would just wait. Wait till you get there and then probably take it maybe like an hour because you're going to be waiting for a little minute. So wait, wait and then take it, you know, whatnot. But I got the massage. Um, after I got the massage, I, um, me and my mom, we had went to Miami Beach. We went to the boardwalk. Is that what it's called? Miami Beach Boardwalk or Miami Beach Boulevard? Uh, it was a walkway on the beach. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we went to the beach. The beach was beautiful. Miami is a beautiful, beautiful city, like beautiful city. We went to the beach. Um, it was magnificent. It was just breathtaking. 
Um, now mind y'all, I had on, I had on a little sure, a little sure button down dress. It was very sheer. It was black, but it was very sheer. You know, you could see through and all that kind of stuff. And I had my faha on, you know, which is black as well. So I'm like, okay, oh, couldn't look no problem. So we got there. Now, mind y'all, I don't like heat. I'm not a heat type of girl. I'm not a summertime type of girl. I'm a fall. My birthday is in September. I'm a fall type of girl. I like it cool, windy. I like the temperature to be around 67, 73 max, you know. With a nice breeze. I'm not a summer type of girl. I don't like I don't like summer. I prefer cold over heat if I gotta choose. Yeah. We walking and walking and whatnot, and I'm talking about I am sweating. So sweating bullets. Okay. I'm talking about dripping back of my neck face, the max, under my breast. I'm sweating hard. I'm just like, mama looked at me, she's like, you okay? I was like, I can't breathe. I could not breathe. And probably because I had my faha on as well, it wasn't a good combination. And so I would advise you, if you, <laughs> if you wanna go to the beach while you're down there, you know, just to experience it, I would advise you not to, or just to stand still. Don't do no walking at the beach. I don't know heat with your faha on. Cause baby, my ass would start flaring up, honey. I was like, well, I'm an asthmatic, honey. I can't do this no more, baby. I was like, no. So we start walking back. Y'all, I had my face went numb. My body got the shaking. I was finna pass out. I was just that hot. Okay, I was finna pass out. I got in the back of the car and I literally just I think I did pass out in the car. I don't remember. I remember the car ride back to the, uh, to the, uh, I don't remember. Cause I remember she said, you okay? I was like, yeah. And I woke up, we was at the gas station. Oh, I guess I did. Hmm. But yeah, I was, it was tired. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. People down there are beautiful, honey. Lots of nakedness. You got to be naked, honey. Cause as hot as it is down there, it's not even hot. It's the humidity. The humidity is scorching. St. Louis humidity ain't got nothing on Miami. And St. Louis humidity is high. Okay, we ain't got nothing on Miami. None. It's no. Mm -mm. But it was very beautiful. So we got to we got some gas because baby, they was not gonna charge me for no full tank, honey. So I filled it back up. <laughs> Took the car rental back, and then we went to Miami Airport. If you're watching this video, here's some advice. If you're coming to Miami, have on your walking shoes. When you arrive in Miami, have on your walking shoes. If you can, have on some Heelys or a skateboard on your back. Miami Airport is humongous, okay? I'm from St. Louis. I keep telling folks St. Louis is not big. I keep telling people that. St. Louis is not no big city. It's not. And people say, it's big. No, you ain't been out of St. Louis then. St. Louis ain't no big city. Miami Airport is huge, okay? I'm talking about we walked and we walked and we walked, okay? If you coming in, have your walking shoes or some or some hot wheels on your feet. When we got there to the airport, we dropped the car off, and we had the walk all the way. We took the, y'all call it, is it the MIA train or my train? I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm going to say my, Mia, Mia train, I guess. We took the train from the rental place back to the actual airport place. But you still got to walk. You're still walking. So we don't walk all the way around. Y'all, it was so crowded. I would advise you to get to the airport at least at least three and a half to four hours early at least and it might be because it might have been because i forgot that it was a holiday uh cinco de mayo and then spring break i think was that you know i don't i don't know spring break or something was going on so it might be because of that but still it's international airport so just come prepared come prepared with your patience a little snack if you need it and something to read or listen to but come at least three and a half, four hours early so you can get around. So we went through everything. We went through all the rigmarole. And um, we had to walk back to the airport by the time. Because when we got there, it, we got there, we got done with everything. We, like, we had spent 
from walking and standing in line and getting checked and bags and all that, that took a good hour and a half. Because by the time, hour and a half, almost two hours. Because by the time we got to the back, um, by the time we got to the actual, um, the gate, terminal and gate, uh, the plane was going to leave like in 25 minutes. So it was time to go. So I got on a plane. I did fly first class. It was on American Airlines. Um... Was it a, was first class worth it? Was first class worth it? Um, yeah, the seats were wider, so it was more space. Uh, leg room wise, I, mm, 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 I wanted to sit on the floor, but it wasn't no space on the floor for my big ass, so I had to sit in the seat. Now, um, before I got on the airplane, it was 20 minutes before, it was 15 minutes before we had got on the airplane, I took my first NARC, what they gave me, and I took half of it. I didn't take the whole thing. I, I don't take pills, so I took half of it. So I took that, um, and I'm like, I'm going to relax. So I took half of the NARC. I got on the plane. I put my BBL pillow down. I put my soft flip pillow down, and I put my um, neck pillow behind my back, have a little more support. Um, y'all, um, oh, Jesus, why ain't nobody tell me that them, uh, them narcs are strong like that? Why, why, why ain't nobody tell me that? Y'all, when I say I got, it felt like I was paranoid to the 10th power. I got to hearing voices. <laughs> First and foremost, my leg had went numb on the right side, and it felt like all the pain had went to my left side. I was, oh my God, I'll be taking off. I'm like, oh, Jesus, what's going on? I'm steady moving. I know they're looking at me like, is this a crackhead? Because I couldn't, I could not stop moving. I'm talking about, I'm moving and moving and moving and moving and moving. I could not get comfortable. Then I started hearing people talk, and I was like, these people still talk. So I looked over, and they were asleep. I'm like, I said, I know goddamn well I heard somebody say something. I know I heard somebody say something. I looked over again, they were still asleep. I said, what the fuck is going on? Like, I just, and I started getting paranoid. I was like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? What's going on? Why is shaking? I started getting really paranoid. I was, like, very paranoid. I said, oh, my God, okay, that's that pill. That's that pill. Oh my God, it's gonna mess me up. So I sit down. I was sitting down because I had to sit down, knowing take off. So I'm like, oh my God, my butt is gonna, it's gonna be flat. I just start getting very paranoid. And next thing I know, I was out. <laughs> I was out. I was out like out like a lamp, like it was a done deal. But before I did go to sleep, I did adjust my pillows. Now what I did with my pillows was I had my BBL pillow underneath, you know, my uh, upper thigh area. We're well, not upper, lower by my knees, lower thighs. And then I had wound up put, cause I couldn't get comfortable, so I wound up putting um the neck pillow under my soft travel size pillow. So I had my BBL pillow on the front. And then I had my neck pillow on top of the seat. And then my travel size soft pillow on top of that. And I sat on that. And I was comfortable. And I was I was knocked out. When I woke up again, because the flight was two and a half hours long. By the time I woke up, my mom was in the seat behind me. I'm like, what time is it? She was like, we got like 30 minutes. Like, 30 minutes left. She's like, yeah, you been asleep. I'm like, whoa. I was knocked out. Out. It was a done deal, a wrap. So if you can take, if a narc does help you, you're gonna be paranoid. I'm, I, I was, but if it do help you, go to sleep, take it. Whatever you can, go to sleep, take because you're gonna need it. Now, once I got up, I did go to the bath. Did sit in the bathroom for like ten minutes, and then before we landed, like ten minutes after, I stood up again for like ten minutes in the bathroom again. So I feel like twenty minutes standing up. We had like 30 to 45 minutes left over. So I put like 20 minutes standing up left and right. And then I sat back down. You know, plane landed. He landed like he was flying so plane. I mean, he landed so hard. I was like, God damn. Like, I could have sworn we an American, honey. Shit. This feel like Soviet Union or something. Hell. But we landed and whatnot. And um, got off the plane. Then I had, we had to catch the shuttle back to our garage where the car was at. That was hell, honey, because that man was driving like he was 
What's that movie Queen Latifah was in with the taxi? Is it called Taxi where she was driving the taxi? But he was driving so crazy. I was like, he's like, y'all in good hands. I said, baby, your name is not Denzel. This is not Allstate, honey. I do not feel like I'm in good hands. This don't feel right. I didn't get to my destination before I fall. I was going to fall off the damn seat. But we finally got there. I made it home. I was like, thank you. That's all I'm worried about is I made it home. Thank you, thank you. Made it home. And I got a... Uh, we went to Quick Trip. I don't know if everybody know what Quick Trip is. Quick Trip is a gas station. You got good food too. I had me a hot dog, two hot dogs with cheese. It was bomb, honey, bomb. Um, ate that. I came my home. By the time I got home, it was like mm, 11.30, 11.30. And mama started unpacking. Unpacking this for the next day, honey. I ate my hot dogs with cheese, drank the rest of my water and some orange juice. Pop me two Advil PMs, and baby, I laid my brown behind on down, okay? And well, I woke up in the middle of the night because, again, I don't feel a lot of pain. So I woke up in the middle of the night because something felt, something felt deflated. I was like, what in the world? And I'm looking, but I, was, I wasn't looking down. I was looking up. I was like, what am I looking at? I'm like, oh, I'm on my back. I'm like, oh, shit, my ass deflated. I was like, oh, but I was laying on my own. What them things called? The, uh, I want to call it the barrel. Basin. 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 What them things? Drain. Dry. I was laying on my drain. I was like, baby, this ain't gonna work. So I'm gonna give me some more pillows to lay on my sides so I don't be rolling over. Cause I don't feel no, I'm not, I'm not in pain. I'm just sore, you know, real sore. But yeah. But other than that, you know, like I said, the plane ride, it was uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable, but I made it, so I'm not complaining about nothing. I had a good little journey. Miami owes me nothing. I appreciate everybody in, my, in Miami that I came encounter with, all the ladies of, at Ivana. The workers were amazing. Um, people, like, they was rude. They was nice, nasty. They was nice, nasty. They was nice when you was nice to them. And they was nasty when y'all nasty with them. They was nice. It was nice to me, so I don't care. I'm a good person, honey. So I was nice all the time. They was nice to me, so I was cool. But um, even the uh, I'm gonna say residents. I'm like I'm back at work. The patients, customers, people getting surgeries. Um, they was real cool as well. We all, everybody was talking and you know telling their little stories and whatnot. It was a really good experience. It was very positive. You know, you had you had a couple of spurts of nonsense and BS and whatnot. But overall, I had a good time. I enjoyed myself. Uh, my doctor was Doctor Meniscus, and he did a wonderful job. He did an amazing job, and I looked amazing. And um. Like I said before, surgery is not the end result. Surgery is just a head start. And now it is my turn to do the finishing results and cross that finish line how I wanted to cross it. So that's what I'm going to work on next. And like I said, I had a good time. I really enjoyed myself. So, yeah, I'll keep on updating you all on what's been going on and uh, give you all some more, you know, uh, I probably do a a, BB, a BBL list of what all I took and whatnot. Well, I, because I didn't a lot of, a lot of stuff I took down there I really didn't need, but hey, took it just in case, baby. Like Tim Roman said, honey, I stay ready. Don't get ready, stay ready. Okay, but yeah, I had a good little time. I really did. But it's good to be back home, my own bed. My bed is so comfortable, so comfortable. I feel good. Yeah. But now I'm about to eat my food, honey. And this is not something that you, and this right here. Let me show you again, honey. I didn't want. This right here, this is uh, my good Chinaman. This is not something that you should be eating. This is full of sodium and salt and whatnot. But um, like your mama's always told you, honey, don't do as I say, do, don't do as I, uh, don't do as I do, do as I say. So I'ma tell you, don't eat stuff like this when you're recovering. Eat the right stuff. But uh, I'm gonna eat this for now, okay? But I'm gonna talk to y'all later, all right?